Okay, so in the last tutorial, we left off with our story. Um, and so in this one, we're going to cover hashtags. We're going to take a look at why they are a part of this website and how you can help us uh, better the usage of them. So pretty much if you're not familiar with Twitter, um, a hashtag is a way for uh, users of a website to kind of categorize information. Um, it gives the users the ability to um, search for things that they're looking for and to find specific topics, subjects um, that they that they're interested in and that they that they want to keep up with. So um, for the for archive, we believe that the best way to do this is to um, always include the location of your paper so that the citizens, the people of your town can search for the name of your their their hometown and find what they're looking for. Um, and we would recommend doing this on every story. So, um, pretty much on every story you post, even if you don't have any other hashtags, uh, we do recommend adding at least one with um, the name of the, the location that you're in. Um, so, yeah, the next hashtag, uh, because our story really doesn't have any content, um, it could be really anything. It could, it could be, you know, the subject matter of the story. It could be a uh, commonly, you know, a commonly um, known way to categorize whatever content the story has. So if it's politics, you could say politics. If it's uh, farming, you could say farms. Um, really just about anything. Um, a story that we posted yesterday was about, um, it was about the uh, oak reenactments of the Civil War. So we could do oak, we could do uh, civil, and then war and the reason that I wanted to show you guys kind of how this is going to work is a hashtag is always one set of characters so you can't actually go in and do civil war you have to do two separate hashtags both civil and war um, and that's that's just the way that the that's the way that hashtags function and it's the it's it makes it easier in the end for people to find what they're looking for um, now you can combine a word, so you can do civil war like this, um, but really it's, it's easiest just to create an extra hashtag. There's no limit on them, so you can really use as many as you want. So yeah, we'll see you guys on the next tutorial where we will cover how to upload images.